Hi, I'm uh, Brad Burks from Springfield, Missouri, Perry Donis, and uh, we've been working with the uh, cadavers this morning doing the pinhole technique. Um, and it's been a lot of fun and it's been very, very interesting. We uh, uh, made a lot of progress today in our clinical skills and, and I'm hoping to take this back to Springfield and, and use it with my patients. My name is Greg Adams, Perry Donson, Owensboro, Kentucky, and um, today I've been working with the cadavers. This was more of a realistic setting, and you know, you could create the defects that you needed to treat, so you, gotta, you could expose yourself to a wide variety, and just the handling of the instruments, it was a totally different feel, and uh, today's been a great day. Though. And what we've seen as far as post op photographs, the patient experiences, is very good experience, a lot less pain, a lot less discomfort than maybe some of our traditional graftings, and it's just, it seems like it just makes sense of what it, we're trying to do from a build the tissue, build the patella, and then lift everything, get, get the tissue to cover the roots, and get thicker tissue. It just seems like it makes sense. Hello, I'm Dr. Cindy Layport, and I'm attending the Pinhole Surgical Technique course in uh, Los Angeles area, and today we've been working on cadaver heads. The, uh, the, the pig heads, it was good because especially we could do three quadrants, and so by the third time I was much more comfortable with it. So today uh, we could get a more realistic setting, and it went very smoothly. Hello, my name is Marana Bastian. I'm a general and cosmetic dentist in Valencia. Uh, I really, really commend Dr. Chow for having the donors uh, for our training because uh, yesterday we used the pig's head and that was a great, great introduction. However, working on a donor that uh, gives us the same situation as we would work on our own patients is priceless because we can take that uh, knowledge that we get after working on a donor back to our office and be more confident working on our patients.